just happens driving in an erratic manner. Russell, why are you being a fucking idiot? Russell overtakes Lewis, then tries to overtake Max, and then Lewis floors it into both of them? That's just done by all three of them, to be honest. Why doesn't Russell just wait? I love that. I love when a driver overtakes someone and then complains when they get impeded. Like, just don't overtake. And... <gasps> it's tight. It's tight between the top four. Oh! He's got it out, though. He's got it out. Woo! He's lucky to survive there. I mean, he's down in the cusp anyway, so... Yeah, oh, that was weird. Much. That looked like a bit of panic from, from Stroll, honestly. To be honest, I think he's gotten away with that. Oh! Stroll again! Stroll? What? 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 This is just embarrassing. Uh, has his wing fallen off while he's going to the corner? Okay, I'm not going to make judgment until I see it. I'm not making judgment until I see it. Oh, wow. Two minutes 30 for everyone to go do a one minute 44 lap. This is going to be hectic at the end. Vettel purple sector three. Wow. <laughs> and then he did that. He has no one else to blame but himself. Quite embarrassing that he crashed twice, to be honest, in a span of three minutes. Oh, 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 Schumacher racing. Oh, poor Ricardo. Oh, no. Schumacher and Ricardo are going to have beef after this. 15 seconds. Who's going to make it? Oh, my Lord. They're literally racing. This is this is Monza again. Oh, they all made it. They all made it, but they're all going to impede each other now. Driving slowly on purpose. Oh. Oh, he's not happy. I'll be honest, from that one little clip, it did look kind of obvious. It did look like he did on purpose, sorry. He did it, like, so late in the apex. Ah, no, no. Nah, 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 nah. Get the fuck out. Wow. Vettel, where has he come from? They've actually might have sorted out that Aston Martin package. Sebastian Vettel. Oh. <gasps> no, no, Vettel, no. Where are you going for he should get out, but he needs to go repair that wing because he just saw what his teammate did in the last session. Yeah, those are flat spotted. You can see it. It's funny. Stroll crashes. Ah, fucking lose that. Vettel crashes. Oh, no. If Leclerc gets pole, he should dominate the race. I think the opposite. I think Leclerc will get pole. Um, oh, brush the wall. I think he got away with that. Uh, I think Leclerc will get pole, but I don't think the Ferrari has race pace for two reasons. One, the pace. They're, they're not good down the straights. The Red Bull will eat them alive in the in the DRS and uh, just pull away. Um, and two, their tie strategy, uh, their tie deck has been really, really bad this season. <sighs> wow, he didn't hit the wall. He was just so, he just kicked up dust. Wow, he didn't hit the wall. That is tight. Oh, Max hit the wall though. Hopefully no damage from him on the rear there. That might cost him. Perez has been on it all weekend. Every street circuit this weekend, uh, this year. Wait, Russell's giving Lewis a toe? Russell might have saved his boy. If it doesn't compromise you, oh. Okay, so Yuki locked up, hit the wall and went wide. All right, nice. He, he had the combo. And Norris, wait, is Norris going slow? Why, 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 why? You were two tenths up. Why, why? Oh, Lewis is fucking trolling. I'm sorry, Lewis, but that's a five place good penalty. You're being a fucking idiot. So one second in front. Wow, the Red Bulls and, and Fro are very far ahead of the competition here. So the Claire. Wow, off of signs and Perez hasn't got a purple. So this is gonna be really tight. Damn, a tenth, a tenth down and Max down as well. Wow, wow, signs. That's interesting. I'm assuming we're gonna see something that Leclerc lost time. Oh, big slide, but he's a good, very dusty out there. All right, signs, red flag it, and you're on pole, my man. It's not dumb, you know. I've talked about this before. If you if you set pole position, if you set the top time and then crash pushing as hard as you can, you may as well. You may as well. He's sending it. He is sending it. You may as well, right? Because if you crash, it doesn't matter. You're on pole. Oh, he's sending it. He wants his first ever pole position right now. Wow. Oh, five tenths down. The clear though is one tenth up on signs. Signs might have thrown it away. Verstappen 50 milliseconds off signs. The clear could take pole here. Oh no, this is gonna be another pole for the clear that he can't convert into a win because they don't have a race car. As long as there's no red flag, five tenths up on signs. Perez is only matching signs. The clear is gonna be five tenths up on all three of them. Holy fuck! What a lap! But are the rebels gonna be able to jump signs? We know they can't get pole now. Now. He does. Four tenths off. But can Perez get in front of Verstappen? Perez has been setting better laps than Verstappen all weekend. But can he do it when it matters? He's three tenths down on the clear. He's matching Verstappen right now. It all depends on this last straight. They're so tight. He out qualifies Max Verstappen again. Two tenths behind Charles Leclerc though. Signs bottles it again. Not another pole he can't convert. He has to be right now the best driver on one lap pace, without a doubt. And, and I, again, I think it's safe to say Perez is actually fighting for the championship this year. Wow, what a quality. What a quality. That was sick. 
Lights are on and away we go. Can't tell who got a good start because the camera angle sucks. Oh, wow. Perez had a good start and Perez has taken the lead. Awful start from Leclerc. Verstappen is going out on Leclerc now as well. Leclerc was very slow to cover off there. I almost feel like starting on the right-hand side is not good. Signs needs to get past Verstappen ASAP here to help Leclerc as much as possible. But Russell's on his tail. No crashes, no crashes. Oh yeah, no, that was a great start from Perez. For a second there, I thought it was just because just because he was on the inside, but obviously the inside help. And to be honest, if he was on the outside, I don't think he gets first place there. I'd way right prefer to start the inside. And if he didn't lock the tie, he might have been able to stick it around the outside of Perez. Oh, that's a big lock up. Yeah, you can see the flat spot. 10 second time penalty for Latifi. Wait, stop and go. Oh, his race is over. All right, see you later. And he was being pushed back. Wow, such a little infringement, but rules are rules. Don't touch the car off the time. And clearly his watch was a few seconds off. That that's very, 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 very harsh, but rules are rules. Again, he's just not getting close enough. The Ferrari can pull away. This is literally identical to last year's Grand Prix. The Red Bull, the more downforce car, gets such a good run in Sector 2 that the Mercedes behind, in this case Red Bull, just can't get close enough to be able to overtake down the straight. Ricardo on the hards, keeping up with Norris is very interesting. Nothing's running away from you up front. The gap is building behind. Max's engineer telling him to relax because of because Perez in front isn't pulling away. Again, it, it's really interesting to see how much Ferrari and Red Bull the engineers and the drivers are so worried about their teammate rather than just dealing with the car in front of them. The oh, was that signs going wide? Back. Yep, signs just went wide in the background. So oh, no. He's not stalled, but he's going to get stuck there. Wait, he's just going to wait for a safety car to come out real quick. Another disappointment for signs. Oh, no. Oh, brake failure. Okay, there might be a safety car because if it's a brake failure, he's not going to continue. <laughs> he's looking for gravel. Oh, my God. There's no gravel there, sir. I was about to go on my uh, signs needs to step it up talk, but another issue for signs just costing his race. Oh, the Claire pitted. This might be smart. Oh, slow pit. If if this VSC stays out longer, Red Bull might pit. Uh, as the front jack was stuck. It's ending. It's ending. Let's go. The Claire's kept 12 seconds, so these hards are looking decent on these uh, in comparison to these meds. But obviously, they need to go to the end of the race. Paul DeResta brings up a good point. How many times has Lewis been cucked by a safety car this year? <laughs> his, all, his, all his luckiness... I'm not saying Lewis is lucky and doesn't deserve his championships. All Lewis's luckiness over the last fucking eight years is all coming down on him this year and the end of last year. Ricardo's in a good spot, man. I, I'm feeling a Ricardo best of the rest right now. I'm feeling a Ricardo best of the rest. If he gets the strategy right, manages these hards, he can go mediums at the end. Oh, here comes Vettel. Gets past off. Oh, no! The Aston Martin stinks! He just rejoins. Oh, 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 oh. I thought he rejoined into the Alpha Tower. Holy shit. It was a very on the edge move, but it just shows how on edge that, that Aston Martin is, that he can't even just race someone normally without locking up. Oh, maybe it wasn't the car. Yo, that was a nice spin. I think we need to applaud him for that spin. That was a quick turnaround. He didn't get stuck. That was a good little spin. He saved so much time doing that. The Claire fastest lap on the hards. Max and DRS are pairs now. What team orders are going to come into play? Because Max isn't going to have as much of an issue stick keeping with Perez as the player was. It's shown that Max has better pace. So will they let him through? Show, 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 show. Whoa, he's hella close. Are they free to fight and battle though? He's close. Oh my God, he's gone for it. And he's done it. I'd love to see that. Maybe Perez might have just lifted a little bit because of team orders. But we, uh, let's assume that was just a genuine overtake. That was dope. To be fair, if there was a time for team orders... This is it. Early on in the race, Max is much faster. That you can always swap them back later. Wonder if Perez was just managing his tires a little too much. Three Look at the porpoising. His bum bum gonna be sore. The Claire's catching both Red Bulls. This is good hard pace. I mean, your teammates, you shouldn't be fighting anyway, obviously. I'll be honest. I think that's smart from Max, smart from Perez. I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Max is faster, went for a clean move. Perez didn't waste time. If Perez defends there, he loses out to Leclerc. This is a team This is a team competition at the end of the day. Signs made his way back, and he's even more sad. His bad year is going to even worse now. Ugh. Whoa, Leclerc's six seconds now. What the fuck? Oh, Perez has dropped off. Perez has dropped off hard. Yeah, it seems like the Rebel has better race pace, but it's harder to drive. The Ferrari is way more consistent through all the corners. Better traction. It's so hard to predict this season, man. I'm struggling. Wait, Joe took his teammate. Yo, let's go. 
He was on fresh tires, but still. Oh, Paris is coming in. So he's going to go behind the Claire, but he's going to have 10 ish laps fresh tires. Stinky pit stop. So even pit stop with the Claire then. You got one job. You got one job. Is Russell through? Wow. Now Russell is racing. Perez. Very nice to see Joe doing something in this race. Very nice to see Ricardo doing something in this race. Oh, very late on the brakes. Jeez. Well done. It's weird. Part of me wants to say the Alfa Romeo's race pace didn't look good, but Joe's looking all right. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe Bottas just ain't feeling it this weekend. Oh, and Lewis is going for it. Did Ocon just get squeezed off into the wall there? Ocon had to back out hard. Nice overtake from Lewis there, finally. Oh, not a great stop for Red Bull, but wasn't terrible. Can Perez close down on Max now? Wow, you take off the two seconds extra for Perez's stop, he'd be he'd be on max. That sucks. Ricardo on hards is keeping great pace on Lando, but Lando's holding him up now to the point where Gasly's getting in on the mix. Lando should probably think about pitting soon before he fucks his teammate. Oh, he's doing it now. He's 100% doing it. Unless he backs out. Surely he goes for it. What are you doing? If this is McLaren's... If McLaren think that leaving Norris out and telling Ricardo to stay behind Norris is better for them, it's not. They're comp they're going to both lose out to Gasly. Hamilton's going to get in the mix now. They're, all they're both going to lose out. Norris, I'm sorry, Norris, you're your race is over. I, you, I've got you in my fantasy team, but your race is over. Get out. See you later. Let Ricardo fight with these other guys. Oh, 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 oh. and we're going to retirement. Leclerc, what? I thought that was an Alfa Romeo. I thought it was an Alfa Romeo. Again, their car can't handle the heat. Two hot Grand Prix in a row. Oh no. No, no, stop it on the track. Stop it on the track. Stop it on the track. No, stop on the track. No, stop on the track, you idiots. And now look, look what has happened with this with the McLarens. They've compromised Ricardo on, on, on Gasly. I'm assuming they pit hoping for a safety car there. Oh man, oh man. The only positive from that is that they're tied 2-2 two, two for, for retirements. But from what we thought coming into the season, as the season has gone on, Ferrari's the most reliable car is now showing that in the heat, they are not. Spain, Turbo overheated. This Grand Prix, whatever it's happened, I'm assuming it's because of the heat. Leclerc's watching his championship fall in front of him, and he's done nothing wrong. Retirement at Spain. Shit strategy at Monaco. Retirement at Azerbaijan. I thought it was an Alfa Romeo. That's why I didn't react straight away. And then when I noticed it was Leclerc, oh my god. And there we go, Gasly. It gets past Ricardo because Lando held up Ga Ricardo for so long. Gasly's now just gone... Ugh. Technically sure. Oh, another Ferrari powered team having a mechanical issue. I feel so bad for Joe. He's not had a clean race pretty much all season. Constant mechanical issues, constant unluckiness. He's having, and it's sad because I still think he is having the best rookie season in comparison to Mick Schumacher, Latifi, and Mazepin and Sonoda. He's doing so well, he can't prove it because his car is always falling a bit. In qualifying in the race, there's people out there who generally think Joe's done nothing, but he's not had the opportunity to do anything. So, but holy shit. Vettel was trying to go around the outside and then backed out to go for a switchback and then just no traction. That Aston Martin looks so shit to drive and slow speed. Uh, uh, and there we go. Vettel gets it done. That car looks so shit and slow speed. He's struggling. At least he got it done though. Here we go. Lewis might go down the inside here. And he does. Oh, is he going to make the corner though? Oh, that was scary. He was getting so much speed. Gonna go down the inside. Just to let you know, currently, Russell would be 15 points off the clan in the championship if the race finishes like this. That's insane. Here we head down. Target 48-0. Oh, interesting. Engineer telling Max, mate, you're going a little bit too quick, all right? You're going five tenths quicker than, than Perez. You're going five tenths above the, tar uh, above the target. Just relax, relax. Norris down the inside. I don't want to see the helmet cam when, I'm, when there's an overtake. It's gross. Oh, and Magnussen stopped. Another Ferrari. Ferrari, Ferrari powered car in the heat. Wow. Safety car, safety car, safety car, safety car, safety car, safety car. Please, please. That sucks though. Sucks for Magnussen. He was having a good race considering how bad that car looked this weekend. And the exact same as Leclerc. Smoke coming out. Oh, there you go. Big fumes. Yeah, Max is covering off Perez. That's that's smart. And Perez should pit as well. Yep, Hamilton's pitting. Is Gasly. Gasly stayed out. Okay, at least we've got something to watch now. Gasly versus Hamilton. Lewis down the inside. Easy clap. Way fresher tires. All right, how much can he catch Gasly now? Oh. 
Oh, 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 wow. What a great race for Yuki. And it's all going down the drain because of the rear wing just snapping in half. He won't be able to drive with that. Oh, they're going to try to fix it. What? 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 Holy shit, five minute cross on TikTok. Let's go. Bro, he's going to get black flagged again. I'm not satisfied. That's enough, Crofty. For the rest is not chaff, guys. You don't want to get on. You don't want to get on Paul the rest is icy side. He'll complain about it for the rest of the race. Every lap he'll mention it. Yeah, Russell's killing it this season. No doubt. We could see Russell on the talk to win the championship. Yeah, what has happened to Stroll, Schumacher, and Latifi this race? Schumacher's teammate was in the points at one point. Oh, uh, sorry, Latifi got the, the stop and go. What happened to Stroll, though? Sonoda's literally repaired his fucking rear wing and in front of him. Latifi yeah, ignoring blue flags. Oh, thank God they're looking at it this this week. Don't tell me he goes down the inside here. No, he's going to eye him up for the next part. Bad exit. That's a bad, that's a terrible exit, but he's close. Finally. Holy fuck. He takes so long to get past Gasly every single time, but he's done. It. He's done it. So we're gonna box. Oh, there you go. Stroll is retiring. Some issues on his car. All right, non Ferrari car retiring. I was gonna say that sucks for Stroll, but he didn't do anything the whole Grand Prix, so I don't think it really matters at the end of the day. The huh? Is he trolling? What do you say? Sound like you said I can feel something in between my teeth. Right don't be dumb, Norris. Please don't be dumb. Ricardo might be having a very, very bad season, but Ricardo literally did everything to help you. Compromised his race to help you. Don't be stinky. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh Speed no, well. don't tell me Lando goes dummy mode. Oh, he's going for it. No. Maybe down the next straight. Maybe down the next straight. And here we go. Max Verstappen wins again. Great race from him. Great race. You can't deny that. But another Grand Prix that could have gone Ferrari's way. Three in a row, actually. Three Grand Prix in a row that Ferrari could have won. All thrown away by Ferrari's own fault. Oh, they're close. They're close. Uh, Perez, uh, in the end, a little bit disappointed with his pace. I'm not going to lie. Russell, another great result. I mean, he's he's 10 points off the clay in the championship. Uh, 16 points off the clay in the championship now. Well done. Well done, Ricardo. I think Ricardo had a really, really good race today. What would have happened if he actually had a good qualifying? Yeah, I don't know. Interesting Grand Prix. Uh, I don't think it was as dramatic and as insane as, you, as people expect of Baku, but obviously I remember Azerbaijan 2019 where nothing happened in the first 40 laps of last year. But I think it was a good Grand Prix. It was good entertainment for a nice Sunday. Yeah, Max had great pace on Paris. You can't deny that. Reminding us why Verstappen is hands down the best driver uh, on race day at the moment. Oh man, Lewis's back is killing him. As you can imagine with the poor I wouldn't say it was the worst Grand Prix of the year, uh, but I wouldn't say it was the best. It was, it was just a good entertaining Grand Prix. I can't take this anymore You say we're